Christian clerics have been urged to live blamelessly and faithfully in order to live effectively for Christ and to affect the lives of their flocks effectively. This was the admonition of the Anglican Bishop of the Trinity, Adult, USA, at the consecration of four suffragan bishops elect and presentation of two archbishops' service at Archbishop Vining Memorial Church Cathedral, Ikeja, Lagos. ACNN News correspondent Wani Ogechiku has the report. present him and his wife to this church the consecration of four suffragan bishops elect and presentation of two archbishop service was presided over by the primate of all nigeria his grace the most reverend nicholas oko the service was held at archbishop vining memorial church cathedral ikeja lagos it was attended by archbishops, bishops, clergymen, both within and outside Nigeria, friends and family members who came to rejoice with the souls. The four consecrated suffragan bishops elect who are the Right Reverend Ulukai Ade Adebogun, the Right Reverend Adedokun Adewumi, the Right Reverend Martin Anabogun, and the Right Reverend Augusto Unibe are all clergy from Adak, Kena. USA, why the two archbishops presented are the Most Reverend Emmanuel Chukuma, who is serving as the Archbishop of Inugu Province for the second time, and the Most Reverend Daniel Issa as the Archbishop of Lokoja's Province. They were also given certificate of office. This is to certify that the Most Reverend Dr. Emmanuel O. Chukuma was presented for the second time as the Archbishop of Enugu Ecclesiastical Province. Church of Nigeria. This is to certify that the Most Reverend Daniel Yisa was presented for the first time as the Archbishop of Lokoja Ecclesiastical Province. During his sermon, the Bishop of the Diocese of Trinity, Adult, USA, the Right Reverend Amos Fagwemi encouraged them to ensure to move the gospel forward no matter what stressing that the commandment of christ in preaching the gospel is to all nations the gospel of jesus is very very important and relevant at this time because this is what we are seeing when end times the message i think should be should the core of the message should be what christ himself said repent for the kingdom of god is at hand that is the God. Preach the gospel of salvation. Preach the gospel of redemption. It may be offensive. According to the bishop, a priest ought to be faithful, blameless, and must be accountable. Constantly be in Christ. Abide in Christ. Stay with Christ. Be in Christ's presence by prayer, by prayer and meditation. Seek deeper knowledge of God. Baba Fakwe gave us a lot of stuff. Don't you? Be blameless in your lifestyle, in your utterances, in your action, in your relationship. Be blameless. You and I will give account of our stewardship. Be accountable. The bishop is blameless, must not be given to drunk, drunkenness, must be one or one wife, and so on and so forth. Make a checklist. As he talks about the bishop, so he also talks about the wife of the bishop, the deacon, and so on. High point of the service was prayers and anointing of the new bishops elect and presentation of staff to them, choir ministration, among others. During an interview, some of the clerics and their wives spoke about the service and they were also advised by other clergymen. We should all work together in peace and happiness, in harmony and do a lot of sacrifice to make the province to move forward. To stand with their husbands and uh, help their wife and husbands to do the work so that the work of the diocese will progress. We thank God that finally um, this day has come. The Lord will give us the grace to walk peacefully 
with each other and uh, he will make his church to grow from strength to strength. It's a joy to attend to this position in Anglican Church. I'll be honest, I didn't expect this. Three point vision, number one is church planting, number two is church planting, and number three is church planting. Be faithful uh, to our Lord Jesus Christ and uh, to make sure that they follow the word of God in their ministry, in their preaching, uh, in their mission, to work in cooperation uh, with the rest of the bishops of Kenya, uh, so that we can all accomplish our mission. If they follow him, be with him, and abide in him, the sky will be their limit in ministry. So I congratulate them, uh, and secondly, to know that this position uh, requires a lot of wisdom and diplomacy. When you bring soldiers of Christ, leaders in his church, to be positioned to extend the work that requires so many hands is really wonderful. It is the first time in the Church of Nigeria that you are having so many suffragan bishops being consecrated at the same time. From here in Lagos, Lani Ogichku, ACNN News.